I just want to apologize in advance because in this video I changed some settings that I did not understand and it, as a result it removed several frames, <laughs> a lot of frames throughout the video. And I'm not a camera person but I'm learning and so just bear with me. I'm taking the steps to make sure it does not happen again. You still see the pencils go through my battery of tests and the end result is very clear. So thank you very much. Hopefully you can still enjoy this. Hi, it's Fee Monster, and today I am super excited because I have a new set of pencils to try. I know I'm not really much of a reviewer because I tend to get really like stuck and set in my ways and I've been using Karen Dash for a very long time. But um, yeah, I saw these in an image online and I thought, oh, there's a pencil I've never heard of before. And when I looked it up, I saw they were made in Germany and I'm always down to try out a European pencil just because my previous experience was very positive which was Karen Dash from Switzerland. So yeah, I'm curious what the rest of Europe is doing with graphite. So we're gonna give these a try. I was so excited when these came that I actually slept with them in my bed. <laughs> I mean I haven't watched any reviews on them. I've kept them in the wrapper and we're gonna open them together, we're gonna look at them together, and we're gonna play with them together for the first time. At first when I got these I was pretty uh, unimpressed by the packaging until I realized that inside the cardboard box is actually... Ah, hang on. Inside the cardboard box... Ah, oh, come on. In... I really don't want to tear this. Oh, I tore it. Yeah, we're gonna just... I'm so sorry. Okay, so inside of the cardboard is this. Oh my goodness. Even more beautiful than I imagined. I just saw the tin from the outside. But yeah, we have a very nice case. Oh wow. Wow. So these came... Already they are quite impressive just by looking. Sorry, I'm getting over a cold. Okay, so even just by looking now, you can see they are very nicely made. I can feel it just <laughs> as I'm turning them here so they're facing the right way. Wow, those are hot. I love, I love European pencils. I'm sorry. I couldn't not try these. Look at those. Oh my gosh. Those are beautiful. I can't wait to play with these. Yeah, this is what the Karen Dash packaging looks like. I probably shouldn't be comparing these I'm just saying, this is different for me. So I don't know, it's gonna be really hard to get me to change from Karen Dash just because this is, we formed a very deep connection and I'm thinking, even if I like the Liras, I'm probably not gonna convert, but I would like to give them a good word if they're good. If they're bad, then I won't feel so bad. Ooh, typically with the Karen Dash, I'll start with an H when I sketch, so we're gonna get the H pencil out here. Oops, let me get my erasers out because I'm gonna need those. You don't ever want to not have your Mono Zero. Just throwing that out there. All right, Karen Dash is all packaged back up in my pencil case. And it's time for the Liras to shine. So yeah, I'm just gonna draw something I would typically draw and see what it's like. I just realized I didn't sharpen these and I kinda wanna, I kinda wanna do that. There we go. Okay, so something I noticed as I was sharpening these, like I said, I don't want to compare them to the Karen Dash, but I feel like they're very lightweight. Not necessarily a bad thing, but like the wood shavings on the pencil, um, to me it reminds me a little bit of a school pencil, maybe too much. I don't know, it could just be me. It could just be because the Karen Dash is a lot thicker than the in circumference than this one, a little bit thicker, not a lot. But yeah, it just kind of gives yourself a school pencil vibe when I sharpen it. So, we'll see. Okay, so yeah, H pencil. I'm just going to start with something I would typically draw and see where they take me. Describe along the way what it feels like. Oh, wow. Okay, this is an H pencil. It's pretty hard, actually. Not, not as soft as I would prefer. But every pencil has its like sketch point, so maybe H is not the correct pencil to be sketching with in this set. 
that's okay. I'm willing to work with that. For now, I'll just keep using my age just because. So uh, yeah, the paper type I'm using is the Strathmore 500 again. Yeah, I notice as I'm sketching with the H pencil that I'm having to work a little bit harder to get like a line. And maybe that's not such a good thing because um, if I push any harder, I can feel with the hardness of the lead that it's going to cut, start to cut the paper like on a microscopic level. I don't like that. Let me see what happens if I switch to something a little bit softer. Okay, so I have a B pencil and I'm also going to try sketching with the HB. Okay, so here's my HB. I'm going to try the HB first just because it's the next one closer to the H. Meh. Oh wow, no. <laughs> I want to like these pencils, I really do, but it just seems like, um, the lead is very hard. Like, it's, it doesn't have any blend to it at this point. So far, it just feels like I'm going to cut my paper way too early on in the game because I'm only sketching at it. What if I had to change something, you know? Ooh. Oh man, yeah, these are really hard. They're reminiscent. They remind me of when I tried the Prismacolor Turquoise. Those are my absolute most hated pencils as far as I'm aware of what's out there. I don't like to focus on the negative ones, but I'll have to say that Prismacolor Turquoise was probably the worst pencil I've ever tried. And this is kind of, kind of similar so far. I guess I'll have to play a little bit more because I really want to like these pencils, but... Okay, yeah, I'm using the B now to see if I can sketch with the B. It's a little bit better. It's less um, paper cutty. But it's still very light and uh, like it's scared to come out on the paper, which is not good. Because I know with Strathmore 500, it's like, it's a very forgiving paper. But I still feel like this pencil's afraid to fully commit to the paper, if that makes sense. Meh. Wow. So I guess, I don't know. I don't know if I would want to finish this entire piece in these pencils just because so far, so far I'm not really impressed by them. Okay, I'm just gonna let loose and see where the pencils take me because I feel like if I keep trying to use them like I use the Karen Dash and my expectations are going to be completely different possibly to their strength. So I'm just going to let the pencils show me what to do. So I don't know what other people's experiences were, but for me, this is my experience. So pray to God that it comes out like decent enough. Working with them is making me feel a little impatient, I guess. I mean, I guess I noticed that if you're drawing something more subtle with uh, less depth, possibly, I guess they would be good for that. They probably would make like good sketching pencils, like rough sketch, because what I'm getting is rough all around. So they're the Lyra Rembrandt Art and Design Pencils. And on the packaging it says, for fine art, high quality. On back here, it says premium graphite pencils of superior break resistance combined with consistent grading. Yeah, they're probably stronger. Like they probably won't break as easily as a s pencil that will blend better, if that makes sense. It seems like they traded a lot of the blendability for the unbreakable part. That's I think that's why I feel like the pencil is so hard. When I'm sketching, like, this is a B pencil and I can't, I can hardly see it. Okay, I'm bringing out my Karen Dash just for comparison. Here, let's move this one. Dora has an extra piece right there. So, Dora, this is the Karen Dash B. Like, this is what I'm used to. I can do long strokes and just look how pure that line is. I'm not pushing very hard. And this is the Lyra B pencil. And it's just like... 
it's like shoving glass into the paper in a way. It's just, just so hard. Ah, oh, you can't see it all, can you? Let me move it closer. So yeah, Lyra, Karen Dash. Thank you, Dora. I'll put the Karen Dash away now. Okay, so I don't know. I'm not too impressed, honestly. Let's see. The picture on the front is really impressive. I mean, I thought it was gonna be like this. It's like, oh, we can do this, but eh. Let's get a little bit crazy. I'm bringing out the 6B, which is, the 6B is the darkest that the Lyra's come with in this set. I think they, as a whole, go to 8B, but you have to get those separately. Okay, so this is the Lyra 6B. Sorry, I'm not crying, I'm just sick. Lyra 6B, okay. It's softer. Like now I can see a little bit of what I would expect, but we're all the way at the end of their spectrum here in this set, so that's not a positive for me. Oh my gosh, this feels more like how a bee should feel. Oh, very, very rough sketches are probably where it would shine. I don't know, let's see, let's try a 3B. Okay, so this is the 3B, and I the reason why I switched is because, yeah, the 6B is a little dark to go through the shading like I felt like I could do, so I thought maybe going to a 3B would um, allow me to shade the whole thing, but we run into the issue where the lighter the pencil is getting, the harder it's getting, so it just ends up like chicken scratches. Let me see if I could show you closer. I don't know, I'm willing to just try and finish this piece, so let's just do that. So as I'm playing around with these a little more, I see like if I don't try to do like my usual stuff, like if I just do rough sketches and just let it flow by itself, the pencils are pretty good for that. Like they're very, um, like I said, it's more of, I guess they're more of a rough sketch type pencil. So if I rough sketch, I feel good. But if I'm trying to do like the finer details and stuff that I was trying to do in the, in the beginning is not so good. So if you find that your style is much more rough and you're less about um, values and more about, um, I guess, being more sparse, you'll probably like these pencils. For that, they're pretty well controlled. I say they taper quite well, like when you're doing stuff like hair or edges, they'll taper very well. So let's try doing that. Yeah, stuff like that, like ribbons, definitely one of its strong points. think this needs to go any further. I guess it did smudge. Let's test the erasability. So this is B. When I'm drawing these scribbles, I'm just doing like a decent amount of pressure. I'm not like cutting the paper through, although it probably is cutting the paper on its own like microscopic level. This is 3B. Wow. That is a very light 3B. I've never seen a 3B so light. Like, I, I know if you get this set of pencils, you're gonna have a very hard time getting, like, deeper values. This is the 6B. This is the darkest in the set. They do go down to, like, 8B, I think. Um, you just have to buy them separately, or I don't know if there's another set that has more. But yeah, 6B, 3B, B. This is it. So we're gonna take our... 
Rectangle Mono Zero by Tombow and see how they erase. So that's the 6B with decent pressure, nothing too crazy. This is the 3B, which is erasing. I can still see it. I don't know if you can. Yes, you can. And this is the B pencil, which is supposed to be a very forgiving pencil. But this one's pretty sharp, so it just... Yeah. The last thing I wanted to try is to see if there's any blendability with the love of my life. The Stettler Mars Limograph Blacks. I'll be nice to it, and I'll start with a 2B Stettler Mars Limograph Black. So 2B meets Lyra. Wow, no. Um, now I'll try a 4B, just because the 2B is like hesitant in itself. The 4B Stettler Mars Lumograph Black with Lyra. I'm trying to be fair. I'm trying to do it in rough sketches and not just detail. You know, honestly, I think it looks pretty good. For the parts that I was rough with, I'd say yeah, they they can handle it. They handle the Mars and McGrath black fairly well. Yeah, I think that would still be a decent combination as long as you're um, just ultimately doing pretty rough sketches and not trying to do like really fine detail. They do go together well. Yeah, that does work. So this is a, this is the 4B. Can't go over the dark 6B too much. You know, you can see it gets a little bit tinted. The 3B can handle it a little bit better. The B, yes, you can definitely go over it and just like create your own gradient pretty easily. Um, let's just try an 8B on the 6B. An 8B Mars Mimograph Black by Stedler versus a 6B Lyra pencil. These are both German pencils, which is funny. They kind of look alike too. Yeah, this is the Mars, Stettler Mars Limograph Black. This is the Rembrandt Lyra graphite pencil. Yeah, that's probably why I was so turned on at the beginning with the Lyras, because they probably just remind me of my, my true love, the Stettler Mars Limograph Black. Sorry. Let's do another bold 6B Rembrandt Lyra graphite. Nice and bold because I and big because I want to show how it marries the Stedler Mars Limograph Black. It does! Yeah, that's not bad. Oh I'm sorry, I'm using the 4B. I was supposed to use the the six the 8B Mars Limograph Black, so let's go in on this side. The 8B Mars Limograph Black versus 6B Lyra. Yeah, that does look very nice. It goes right over. They're married. They could get married and have a pretty decent life together, but I probably won't use the Rembrandt Lyras. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay, so final thoughts. Mm, I wouldn't use them just because when I draw, I'm doing more like a, a deeper spectrum, but I'd say if you were doing light sketching with little detail, maybe a bit of like a minimalist sparsity, is that a word? Sparsity, <laughs> like a more sparse style sketching, yeah, you might like them, but for heavy duty, like really laying it on graphite, like Dora here, she's not done, but you probably couldn't use it for that, and that's it. So, no bias review of these Lyra pencils by Rembrandt in Germany. It's not quite like this, as far as I can tell, unless this is a really, really large drawing. Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope maybe you will try the Lyra pencils for yourself. Never, I would say never rely fully on reviews 
of pencils because it depends on your drawing style really like if I was a light sketcher sure this would probably be the bee's knees for me but since I'm a heavy drawer and I like really lay down the layers and such for me this won't work so yeah they're about they were about $11 on Amazon uh, Jeff Bezos was kind enough to hand deliver them right to my door the same day so there's that available try them for yourself see if you like them if not you have a really cool pencil case that's all <laughs> have a great day I just like to say thank you so much for watching this video and if you liked it I would very much appreciate if you hit the thumbs up I think it seems to help in this YouTube world if not, just let me know what you did not like and what you would like to see, and that would really help me shape this channel. Thank you so much for taking the time, and stay tuned for what's to come. Thank you so much. Bye.